The company buys a new bulldozer for $117,650. The company depreciates the bulldozer linearly over its useful life of 20 years. Its salvage value at the end of 20 years is $10,650. Depreciation is the decrease or loss in value of the equipment due to age, wear, or market conditions. Part A, we're asked to express the value of the bulldozer V in terms of how many years old it is, T. So we're going to write V in terms of T, and because the company is depreciating the bulldozer linearly, our equation is going to be a linear equation. To help us write the equation, we'll write the given information as ordered pairs, and then use the ordered pairs to find the equation. And because you're writing V in terms of T, each order pair will be in the form of T comma V, where again T is the age in years and V is the value. So looking back at the given information, the new bulldozer costs $117,650, which means at time T equals zero, this is the value, and therefore the order pair is zero comma 117,650. And then after 20 years, the value is 10,650. This would be the ordered pair 20 comma 10,650. When writing a linear equation in slope intercept form, it's normally in the form of y equals mx plus b, or y equals b plus mx, where x is the input variable and y is the output variable. But in our case, t is the input variable and v is the output variable. So let's find the equation in the form, let's use this form here, so we'd have v, the value, equals b, which is the vertical intercept or initial amount, or in our case, the starting value, plus m times t, where again, t is the age in years. So right away, we know that the initial value of the bulldozer is the new cost of 117,650, so we know that the value V must equal 117,650 plus MT, where M is the slope, which represents the rate of change. And because the value is going down, we know M is going to be negative. To find the slope M, or the rate of change, we use the slope formula here. But again, instead of using the change of Y divided by the change of X, our slope M is going to be equal to the change in the value divided by the change in the time. So to keep things organized, let's label the values of this first ordered pair, t sub one comma v sub one, and this ordered pair, t sub two comma v sub two. So the change in the value is gonna be equal to v sub two minus v sub one, which is 10,650 minus 117,650 divided by the change in t and the change in time is going to be 20 minus zero. So simplifying, 10,650 minus 117,650 is negative 107,000. Of course, 20 minus zero is 20. Simplifying, so negative 107,000 divided by 20 is equal to negative 5,350. So this is the slope of the line, which tells us that each year the bulldozer is depreciated or decreases in value by 5,350. So to find our equation of V in terms of T, we substitute negative 5,350 for M in our equation here. So our equation is V equals 117,650 minus 5,350 T. Of course, we could also write this as V equals negative 5,350 T plus 117,650. These are equivalent equations. Let's go ahead and enter this equation here. We already have V equals, so we enter 117,650 minus 5,350 T. And for part B, we're asked to determine the value of the bulldozer after six years, so we need to find the value of V when T equals six. So 
need to find V of 6, which equals, again, 117,650 minus 5,350 times 6. Let's go back to the calculator to find this value. After six years, the value is $85,550. Notice how the units of dollars is already here, so we only enter 85550 I hope you found this helpful.